this, this week was a very difficult week for us anyway. And um, yes, to hear this news last night, it just really piles it on. It's, it's very, very difficult indeed. How and, were you uh, notified? I'm sure you the families. Yeah. How were you actually um, notified? Uh, last night, a senior police officer from who's conducting the investigation into phone hacking for the News of the World called me and said that um, the Daily Telegraph would be publishing a story today to say that um, some of the families and uh, may have been hacked or part, you know, hacked by this investigator. And they knew that because during their investigations they'd come across a file with my name and my personal details, um, including um, an unregistered or ex-directory landline, and they had that number as well. Yeah. And um, he was just giving me advance warning that this would be in the press. You know, Graham, nobody better to ask than you. I don't know how ambivalent you would have been about the, the conversations about hacking or you know, the whole debate about it before this came along. Then you know it actually happens to you and your life and there's a violation um, into your life and in many ways I suppose a desecration um, t towards David with all of this. Has, has it changed your view in any way about these goings on? Well, you know, you're absolutely right. Until recently we saw the news about the minor celebrities who had been hacked and you kind of think well you know you guys bring it on yourself this is what you seek then when we heard last week about the Millie Dowler story Janet and I were chatting about that and saying just how horrible it must have been for the family you know mm. my heart goes mm. out to them and then I wake up this morning and find that we're in the same place it's just beyond words well could you put into words when you get the woman who was editor of the the newspaper um, at the time and she says look I, I know nothing uh, about this. I, I don't know anything about this, yes. Uh, and, and I certainly don't intend to resign about all of this. Um, what, how does that make you feel and what would you say to her? These people have no shame and it doesn't matter what I say to them. I can't see her responding in any way whatsoever uh, to acknowledge that she has a responsibility and with that responsibility comes some very serious uh, decisions that she needs to make and I hope that a full and thorough police investigation um, really does get to these people and they need to face charges and possibly even custody. N uh, Graham, we're hearing, we're that, hearing... That's why... She, yeah, we're, we're hearing from News International um, today and we're just hearing from them that they, they have now said, News International has said, that it is, as an organisation, willing to meet um, seven seven families people like yourself to discuss all of this obviously that would um, very much include um, you would you be m willing to meet with them absolutely I mean these people need to face up to their responsibilities and and not just me but the Millie Dowler family and the Soham the Soham girls families they need to make the people at the very top need to face these people to, to see for themselves the impact that they've had on our lives and the pain doesn't go away, Graham, with the anniversary tomorrow. Um, no, no, you're absolutely right. This, if it's possible to make it worse, this makes it worse. Well, we're so sorry yes. for your loss, and as you say, um, I suppose that's the least that uh, that's all you needed this this time of year. Um, appreciate you talking to us this morning. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Once again, our condolences and commiserations to you for the loss of David. Thank you very much. Thank you.